Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here in this Weather School video. I want to show you a great example of growing cumulus and how that looks on a SKU-T diagram. So this was the cumulus cloud photographed over the west of Wales on one sunny or almost sunny Sunday morning. You can see the cumulus cloud there. Now uh, I want you to notice how the cloud has formed. We've got the base here look and then we've got it growing gradually until it's achieved a top just in here. Now that level there is the top of the cloud with this level here being the bottom of the cloud and this line here shows us the total thickness of the cloud. Notice how the cloud base is dark. The sun was rising and shining here onto the cloud so it did make that side of the cloud appear whiter and the bases appear darker. Now, the sky around the cloud is blue. It was quite an unstable air mass, which means that the lapse rate was quite sharp as you went upwards through the atmosphere. But this is how that would have appeared on a skew-t diagram. So, on the right-hand side we've got temperature, and on the left-hand side we've got dew point. So, what happens here is that gradually, as the air mass rises within here to here, we've got air that's cooling off at 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet or at the dry adiabatic lapse rate. Now once it reaches this level then the air condenses out. It needs to reach the temperature at which the atmosphere can no longer hold the water as a water vapour and then it cools at the saturated adiabatic lapse rate for this distance in here. So it's now cooling at the saturated adiabatic lapse rate which is around roughly 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. Then it reaches the point at the top of the cloud where all of the moisture has gone and the air then cools off again at the dry adiabatic lapse rate. So you see there how we get that whole depth of cloud within one single photograph and that shape is easily visible on skew-t diagrams. So there you have it, a quick weather school video which I hope has proved useful for you. Now don't forget that you can see the very latest dates for courses held at Weather School by going to www.weatherschool.co.uk. We run one day courses for aviators, sailors and also for farmers and just about anybody with an interest in the weather. We can do one-to-one -one tuition as well and don't forget you can buy our DVDs and books online. We're all part of weatherweb.net. So once again thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.